The woman we're about to witness here is the front runner for the biggest switch up reward. I'm talking like this lady either invented bipolar or was an early seed investor in the technology. Wait, that's not really a technology, is it? That's. Uh, it, never mind. What I mean is, she somehow goes from fire breathing demon pig, 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 pig. to congenial best friend. Come on, I'm a, I'm a big, I'm sick. No way. I'm sick. In the blink of an eye. A performance that deserves at least a Tony Award or a Streamy or something. I'm not sure it's worse. Anyways, let's see how this unfolds. On December 1st, 2022, officers responded to a report of domestic battery. Upon arrival at the scene, they observed the female in question exhibiting high levels of agitation. Mm -hmm. She directed curses at them and soon began to aggressively punch one of the officers. I mean, the PNG animation here from uh, Police Insiders, quite the touch. Bravo, gentlemen. For her to cease, she persisted in her erratic behavior. Here's what happened next. Uh, can I wait? Come on in. Yeah, sorry, it's so messy in here. I Anybody don't... else in here? No, it's just us. I'm, I'm sorry that you have to see my house this way. You're fine. You can just leave it great. So, I uh, want to step over here, please? Good. I'll go get it. I, I'm a little annoyed that I feel like I'm being goddamn you know, interrogated here when I'm the one who's being beat the uh, ma'am, he simply asked for your ID. I don't know if I'd consider that an interrogation. I mean, she started off amicable in the first 10 seconds. She was a little embarrassed. Her house was a mess. But then that pesky officer had the audacity to ask for an ID. And all bets are off. You better read that fucking ID out in the yard, young man. Yeah, get out. Go. Get out of my house, please. Go. Please get out of my f***ing house now. Go read my ID out in the goddamn yard. It's like, you just called us, though. What? What are you? You ready to talk? Yeah, I ain't. Hey, hey, get, the, get back inside, ma'am. Hey, hey, get inside. So she calls them. <laughs> Help, I get whatever. It turns out she got in a dispute with her son that apparently turned into a physical altercation. She calls them. They show up <laughs> and they're like, hey, can we just see an ID? And then, then it's fucking ballistic. I just. What's wrong with you? You called. Hey, Campbell Pig! You called us for help. What are you doing? Yeah, right? F you. Let's go inside. No, f you. Come on, let's go inside. You don't want to help. How do you want to f help? How do you want to f get help? I'm just saying, I'm not. I have zero context on the situation. You know what I'm saying? The sun, you don't even see the sun in this at all. But when you see behavior like this, it's not far fetched to imagine why there was a physical altercation, right? Not justifying anything here or there on either side, but it's just like. Quite frankly, a wonderful side effect of watching videos like this all the time is that it's a terrific reminder to drink in moderation. And if you can't, maybe just don't at all. Speaking of potentially bad habits, today's video sponsor Fume knows a thing or two about replacing them with something better. We'll be back in a moment to watch this caterpillar turn into a beautiful butterfly. Cold turkey is delicious on wheat bread with mayo and cheese, but there is a better way to break your bad habits. I'm not talking about the healing moonstone sorcery your cousin Janine does to cure athlete's foot. I'm talking about today's video sponsor Fume and how they treat the problem in a unique way. Fume is an innovative flavored air device that is meant to remove the bad from your habit while keeping some of the comforts intact. It's completely natural, no electronics, no vapor, just flavored air and delicious all natural flavors instead of harmful chemicals. Get rid of the bad while keeping some of the good. The craftsmanship is beautiful and with an adjustable airflow dial, Fume is designed with movable parts and magnets specifically for fidgeting. They also recently launched Base, which is a weighted stand your Fume attaches to via magnet that lets you spin it around for more fidgeting glory. I had no clue what to expect initially, so I ripped open a pack of the crisp mint. I inserted the core like so. And honestly, I was impressed. Smooth as hell, tastes good, and I find myself doing this while I'm brainstorming in the office a lot now. If you're looking for that edge to help you stop something you've been putting off, I really think Fume could be what you're looking for. It's easy, it's enjoyable, and the success stories continue to pile up as over 150,000 customers have been served so far. You can join Fume and help accelerate humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Go to tryfume.com slash Leon Lush or scan the QR code and use code Leon Lush to get 10% off your journey pack. That's tryfum.com and use code Leon Lush for 10% off your order today. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you. You go for it! You little You go for it! You little bitch. You just kicked our officer. Yeah, I'll kick you too, you little shit! Kicking officer. Hey, grab this for putting her in
Gil! I'll put you on the ground if I have to. Update, they had to. There, you little shit! You ain't got shit! Okay, ma'am. We're gonna help you up. Yeah, the interesting, my help. the kind of disappointing thing about chronically drunk people when they get in situations like this is they always, and I've said this in past episodes, there's always like one word or phrase that they just latch onto for dear life. And whether it's an insult, it's like there's just no creativity, right? For her, it's just, fuck you, you little shit. And then, pig, 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 pig. And then it's just that over and over and over again. It's like, I wish you could come up with some funnier lines. I mean, you are, after all, doing this for our entertainment, obviously. So, uh, write a better script. Jesus. <laughs> you little So just... So I just want you to internalize how she's behaved for the past several minutes because it really heightens the experience when you see the switch up later on. Just impressive, honestly. Even after being cuffed, the female continued to kick the officers. F you! That's the you! That's what I hope you f pay for, you f you! Stop kicking! You! Ain't you no pig! Because you're all awake! You all stick up for each other, you little shit! Oh, you! Hey, Cavill, piggy, pig, 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 pig! <laughs> Look at that shit and piss and puke on the back of your squad car, you little pig! <laughs> oh, yeah, lady? Do it. I dare ya. You know you're having a tough night when shitting and pissing and puking on yourself is how you're threatening to retaliate. That's just, uh, Pigs! run out of options here. Pigs! I'm just being honest, you could, I'm not gonna do it now, but you could pitch that down and turn that into probably a pretty fire rap beat. Kind of like a Millie by Lil Wayne, one of my favorite songs from the early 2000s, except this one is a piggy, a piggy, a piggy, a pig, a pig, a pig, a piggy, a piggy, a piggy. You guys know what I'm talking about. I know there's a producer watching this. This is a missed opportunity if you don't do it. That's what happens when a woman calls for help. That's what happens when a woman calls for help. She gets what to do. No, ma'am, this is why nobody trusts belligerent drunk people. You feel real big? You feel like a big man? I don't actually know so, that yeah, she's been like drinking. I, I have no idea. Unless just... your girl got beat up by her son, you, you feel like a big man? You have to assume. Copper! You pig! You feel like a big man, you big, you big, big, big! You pig! Pig, 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 New game, boys. We're taking a shot every time she says pig. You're just gonna catch another charge bag. Yeah, I don't care, you pig. You pig! You pig and pig, pig, pig! Why do you decide to go pig, pig? You're like, you got your friends, you little pig? So after you decided to grow up and be, I wanna be a pig. I wanna write out all of my friends, all the people that I care about my entire life. If they've done anything even slightly wrong, I wanna rat them out. Because that's the kind of upstanding friend I am, you pig! Piggy, pig, 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 pig! That's what I did, honey! I'm a big hero! I'm a big hero today! What an unforgiving job you this pig. must be. You don't make a lot of money either, pig. You're just a little working class scrub, too. Oh yeah, lady, and what are you? <laughs> Wait. You think you got it all worked out, huh? What? Oh, if I work for the man, the man will leave me alone. I'll be all good. I got it all figured out because I'm a smart little piggy pig pig. Oh, you think you serve God? You think you're a Christian, huh? Are you a Christian? Do you serve Jesus? Or only the Jesus that you recognize in your little white little uniform? Uh, ma'am, I just quick correction for the record here. That's uh, it's not a white uniform. Um, skin may be white, but the uniform is, is in fact blue. The female continued to abuse the officer. 
shit hole house. I'd rather be here anyway. F pig, I win. Pig, I win. Be just by the pig there anyway. Pig, I win. F you. Whatever. Just put me in a goddamn cell. Give me my glasses and shut the f up and get on my face, okay? And enough of you people. I call for help. I don't. This segment says I wish your daughter dies, insinuating that she said that. I didn't hear it in the segment we just watched. It wouldn't surprise me though. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, so we made it to the station. I don't know if there was a. Do you not have any women working for you at all? I got, uh, I've got your glasses, Carrie, okay? Great, could you get these f cuffs off? Yeah, me? we're going to. As soon as we get inside, we're going to get them right off you, okay? I watch your stuff, alright? Jesus Christ, where are the women? Why don't you have any women working for you? Right here, right here. Thank you. What the f? What the f? I know, that's what I was asking. I mean, this fucking face, dude. Look at, look at. That's look at the bewilderment. Honestly, know, Carrie, I'm I'm equally as bewildered. I can't believe. I can't believe they would just show up and arrest you for no reason, Carrie. That's crazy. Imagine that. The audacity these officers must have. You were just sitting there. You were cooperating, and everything was going great. And all of a sudden, they threw you to the ground and threw you in the cruiser. I just. Can't imagine your peril, the distress. Poor shit. It's <laughs> one of my favorite I, phrases. Strange things have happened, to Carrie. We just have to. You guys, I don't hate cops. I just hate that I call for help, and I end up cops. What the? We just covered that. We're starting to see the flip, though. Here, it, it's starting. It's starting. The 15, 20, 30 minutes of unrelenting verbal abuse. That's starting to shed a little bit. And I don't know if maybe the BAC is going down, that last swig of vodka is starting to wear off, and the reality is starting to set in, but we start to see a brand new carry here in a second. You've been nothing but shit to me my whole life! Why would they trust you with anything? Okay, Carrie, here we go. This is some shit! Hey, that was you! Come on, Carrie, that was you guys! I didn't do much shit to my face! Yeah. That was you! Mm. Are you... Are no. you feeling any pain right now? No. Later, she calmed down and apologized for her behavior. All right, so I don't know. Okay, so they, uh, I don't know how much time elapsed between that clip and this one, but clearly a little sobering up. I, I understand you can't threaten y'all and you can't get in fights with y'all, but I called y'all for help. I know, we were working. And I'm a girl. We were I'm a girl. Like, what am I going to do to you? What am I, seriously, what am I going to do to you? Was, what am I going to do to you? Was, we literally just saw exactly what. Like, I don't think they felt... I mean, listen, the kicks of her, you know, I don't think they were particularly scared at any point in time, but the behavior, uh, you know, you can't call for help and then act like that. That just doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Why would you be scared? What am I going to do to you? Right, well, now, you? now she's being a little off. How am I going to hurt you? I'm You're not a gun. How am I going to hurt you? Well, just a soft little kitten. I understand that, but how am I going to hurt you? I was a little girl. I can't hurt you. You got a gun. You got the authority. You got the badge. You throw me in the back of the car. You put. Yes, How am I gonna hurt you? Right. I got no authority over you. It's just because you're short, right? What? Oh, <laughs> it's just because you're short. It's just because you're short. Yeah. I, I dated a short guy. You did, Gary? Oh, he's got short man syndrome. You know, he's like that little Rottweiler bull terrier. That's why. That nah, wasn't me. It's because you're short. Is that why you guys brought me in? I knew it. I dated a short guy, and he was always trying to arrest me when I wasn't doing yeah. anything. So maybe you didn't deserve the shit I gave you. I I, I apologize for that. Oh. Short guys, real. They do. They make up for it in other ways. They do. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> you can make fun of fat girls. I make fun of short guys. You can make fun no, of fat girls. All uh, you want. Come yeah. on. I'm, fat. I'm big. I'm thick. No way. I'm thick. <laughs> thighs. I'm thick thighs. Like the short guys have a thing about being short. You do. It's cute. I love it. I'm getting those platforms. I don't know. <laughs> the lips. They're called the lips. lips. Yeah, the lips. They're the lips. lips. And if they're done right, you can't see them. They just look like normal shoes. That's it. Next time you see me, I'm now they're just like hanging out, shooting the shit, joking about him wearing platforms because he's insecure about his height. You love to see the turnaround. I'll tell the difference. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that whole shit was on camera. She goes in for the shake, too. I really am. It's just a thing. I had a thing. I had a night. Oh, you had a night, Gary? You had a fucking night? Yes! you! Hey, you little pig! Uh, I'm gonna shit and piss and puke on the back of your squad car, you little pig! Horse shit! Yeah, I mean, you, you did have a night. <laughs> you sure did, Gary. That was quite a night. Ha <laughs> ha. Shit.
No hard feelings. Okay, so I'm wearing my glasses. I have no shoes. So, one of the reasons where that I have no shoes, I need my glasses. Yeah, we'll get you the other shoes. You guys come with us? Thank you, guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we'll get you the other shoes. 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 Yeah, we'll get you the other the sad part to me is you saw that other side of Carrie briefly there at the end where she was congenial. She was nice joking around. Probably, you know, maybe the life of the party can be really cool to be around. But I, I don't know whether it's a mean streak or something inside of her that's probably agitated by booze. I'm just assuming, again, there's no even mention of drinking at all in this video. But you look at behavior like that and you have to assume that's that's alcohol related. Just in my experience as a 38 year old man, that would be my guess. And you hate to see it because she like, she could be cool, could be fun to hang out with, could be nice, but like just living a life of shit because I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I have no context. All I know is that there's no real excuses. You just can't behave like that and expect to go through life without a couple of speed bumps of the domestic battery and aggravated battery upon a peace officer variety. The two main takeaways here tonight are how not to respond to an officer when they ask for your ID and that Carrie is thick. I'm thick. <sighs> Look at them thighs, them thick thighs. <laughs> yeah, you thick and you bad. Mm. Anyhow, that's definitely the biggest switch up from start to finish I've seen this year. Probably gonna persist throughout the rest of the year. I don't see another one that drastic coming down the pipe anytime soon. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, stand up out of your chair and hip thrust that motherfucking like button if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.